hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Diaphne if you're new here welcome bienvenue and thank you for clicking on today's video as you can see by the title we're going to do a Sephora haul these products all of them most of them all of them I got during the Sephora VIB sale that just passed but unfortunately they were coming one by one like different packages so I did not receive all my things in time to do a Sephora VIB recommendations so I'm just going to do a haul and hopefully it still helps someone I'm going to start with fragrances, skincare, and then makeup will be last. If you want to see this makeup, I'll link that video right here and also down below. So the very first thing, the very first fragrance, this is the Chloe. If you want to hear me talk more in depth about the scents and the notes and everything, I have a video on my perfume collection where I talked about this. This is signature scent for me. This is amazing, it's girly, it's fresh. I love it. Beautiful bottle with the bow will always be in my collection. This is number one for me and I had to get this one. The next one I got is this Hermes Twilly Au Poivre. Now the first one I got was just a regular Twilly and I just did not like it. I feel like it was just a little too sweet for me. So I decided to get the Au Poivre because I feel like um, it would just be a little spicier and i think i like this one a little better i think it is super cute and i love this little twilly around the bottle with the little hat it looks absolutely amazing you guys from the bottle just like smelling it it gives me old lady but when i spray it on my skin it gives me warmth it gives me a little bit of spicy yeah i think i'm really gonna like this one maybe paired with something else but so far it smells really good i got the jo malone london it came with this bow tied around it and this is the peony and blush suede this smells divine i love this but um, the only problem I have with this is that it doesn't last on me. This smells like a bouquet of flowers, but not like the bad kind where it smells like an old lady. It's just like very fresh, like you're walking in a garden of flowers. Very soft, very feminine, very fresh. I love this. Cindy's recommendation. I will go ahead and link her um, video down below for you guys and also in the iCard if you guys want to check her out she has some great recommendations i really love this when i saw it i say cindy i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it and i'm so happy that i did i loved it so much that i actually went back and got the candle now it's wrapped so nicely i didn't even want to unwrap it but because it's just the bow tie around it i can always put it back so i'll unwrap it this is the Jo malone candle that smells exactly the same as the perfume it is absolutely just amazing i don't want to open it yet you guys but if you've never smelled this you should definitely give it a try like i said my only issue is the perfume it doesn't last on me but i don't mind because it's not super expensive i can always carry this little mini one in my bag and just you know refresh when i need to and then the big bottle can stay at home another cindy recommendation is this tom ford noir de noir i had to get this one because she raved about it she loves it so much and i just wanted to try it you guys know i love tom ford perfumes i don't love all of them um some of them some of the newer trendy ones I actually tried to get into actually went several times to Saks to Neiman's to just kind of smell them and, and be like okay let me see what's the hype about I just can't get into it like the peach one I'll put pictures on the screen so you can see what I'm referring to like the peach one and the cherry one it's very popular here on YouTube a lot of people like it but I I just can't get into it you know Tom Ford perfumes, it's either you like it or you don't. There's like no in between. And my favorite so far is the Soleil Blanc. I love the Soleil Neige. 
This Noir de Noir is right up there with them. This one is just a deeper scent. This is something I would wear at, for date night. Something very, you can smell the softness. It, it has a little powdery softness, very, very slightly. And the undertone, you can smell it, but it's still powerful. Like a little smokiness in there. Just a little bit, nothing disgusting. I really, really like it. Staying with the Tom Fords and the you know things we put on the skin the next thing i have here is the tom ford soleil blanc shimmering body oil oh my goodness you guys the bottle is so luxurious it's so amazing i just love bottles like this i've never really been a shimmering body oil kind of girl but i just want to try it because it does make you glow it makes you look amazing it smells very very nice now i'm gonna get into skincare i'm continuing with the skincare self-love self-care kind of category and the next thing i have here is the laura mercier body cream this is the creme brulee creme brulee if you want to say it like that it smells like a rich shea butter mixed with a little bit of cocoa butter i mean i can't really i don't know what's in here but that's what it smells like like a shea butter mixed with a cocoa butter it is thick it is buttery it smells divine it smells amazing and i feel like this is something you would pull out when you're on that self-care self-love you're doing your bath you know what i'm saying you're done you want to massage your body you know what i mean not massage your body but like lotion up your body and then you put this on with your favorite body oil speaking of self-care self-love and baths the next thing I got is the Way Chill Pills. These are bath bombs. Um, I absolutely been wanting to get these because I've seen them everywhere. They smell so fresh, so clean with a little hint of perfume, but I can't tell you which perfume is this that it reminds me of, but it's like a deep floral scent, kind of, and also soapy. It smells very soapy and just clean and nice. I'm not sure if they have like other scents in these. This is um, the one I picked up. It looked like this and it is a Jasmine Rose. This is for your self-care days, girl. You know you gotta take time for yourself, unwind, drink wine, read a book, listen to a podcast, do what you gotta do, check off those goals, reset, regroup, and get back on it. This is amazing. I love it and I cannot wait to try it. Continuing with the body care, self-care situation, I got this Skin Fix Resurface Plus Glycolic Renewing Scrub. It has 7% glycolic acid and 6% lactic acid. Body pill and polish for rough, bumpy, and crepey skin. Little bumpies that people have on their skin i also have sometimes um flare-ups of eczema and i'm hoping just i don't know if it's eczema i call it eczema but it's like rough little rough skin i have one right here i don't know if you guys can see like right here you see the dark part right here like this one it's like a rough patch of skin that i have and no matter how much lotion oil whatever i put there it never goes away i have some on my legs as well sometimes it just pop up so i'm hoping this helps i also picked up the cream that matched this but for some reason sephora feels like the cream should just come alone i just couldn't wait anymore so whatever but i'll put the cream on the screen for you guys just in case you want to check it out continuing with the whole skincare this is wishful yo glow enzyme scrub this is a pa pineapple papaya abh Ugh, abh what no aha and bha <laughs> what the hell is abh oh my goodness okay so definitely um i got this right here this is the wishful scrub i've heard great things about it i've seen great demonstration about it so i got the baby one because i wanted to try it all right continuing with the whole face aha bha situation i got this good jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment from sunday riley alongside this luna sleeping night oil there's a time when i went to sephora when we were able to 
walk around and do us and actually see people's skin and we were not wearing masks the girl who worked there her skin was just impeccable her skin was just amazing with the makeup i can see how smooth how clear how nice free of texture her skin was and i asked her what do you use and she told me this is her go-to this is what she uses good jeans all-in-one lactic acid exfoliates the dull surface of the skin for clarity radiance and younger looking skin brightens the appearance of dark marks and discoloration and it plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes you guys so this was not cheap but i wanted to try it it looks like this and she tells me i always should use it as a combo and not just by itself decided to pick it up to finally give it a try i really really hope it does not break me out some oils break me out only oil my skin loves right now is the elemis one i'll put it on the screen for you guys it's very gentle slightly scent like it doesn't smell like anything my skin loves it so <laughs> We're gonna see, but I really wanna try this one. This is the combo right here, you guys. The next thing I got is this Kodali Vino Perfect Creme Eclat Eclaircissant. Oh, wait, how you saying it? Instant Brightens Moisturizer. This is for during the day. I got this one because I use my fresh one in the blue in the blue jar i'll put it on the screen at night but this one i also have the matching serum that i use during the day because it's very lightweight it's not scented at all i actually started using this yeah it smells very very soft it doesn't have like a heavy scent at all and i use the serum and then i put this on and then i'll put my spf so it's been working the next thing i got is this peace out acne um healing dots i've seen them everywhere apparently they're supposed to be very very good if you have a breakout a blemish you just put it on and it'll be gone i wanted to try it so i got it i wanted a lip scrub because for some reason my lips keep getting so dry this is the weekly lip scrub exfoliant for lips. It comes with a little scoop pat spatula situation to scoop it out. I've used Bite Beauty um, products before, especially their lip sleeping mask, which is amazing. It stays on your lips forever. So yeah, I think that's it for skincare. I lied to you guys, that was not it for skincare. I actually got the Dr. Dennis Alpha Beta Extra Strength. This is the daily pill. I actually got this one. This is the extra strength and I got the regular strength as well. But I feel like, again, Sephora feel like everything has to come one by one. That's just what we're doing, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so this one is supposed to help smooth fine lines, minimize pores and texture as well so this is there's five treatments in here i guess you can try it out um the extra strength i just wanted to try but i know my skin is super sensitive so i'm kind of iffy you know i'm kind of skeptical about putting the extra strength on my skin so once the regular strength comes i'm going to try that one first and see what it does i've heard nothing but great things so i hope it works for me now that's it for skincare we're gonna do makeup i don't have that much because i haven't really been into makeup that much anymore and i have a ton of makeup that i just don't even use i'm not a makeup artist i don't need that much makeup you know what i mean so anyway the very first thing i'm gonna start with primer that i got is this i really wanted this this is the charlotte tilbury wonder glow instant soft focus beauty glow primer i have the little sample in this one and i love just how glowy it makes me feel no, well, not makes me feel. How glowy it makes me look. How glowy I look with my makeup. So when I put my foundation on top, I look very, very glowy. And I absolutely loved it. So I decided to get the big boy. Moving on to foundation. I got this new Fenty Beauty Easy Drop Skin Tint Blurring. It's actually Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I got the shade 21. Um, it's what I'm wearing right now on my face. It's a very great coverage. It's lightweight. It's not heavy on the skin. Huh, little itch. It's not heavy on the skin at all. And it looks like this. This is what I got. This is what I'm wearing. If you want to see this makeup, I will link it down below. And it's also in the eye card. I also got this Anastasia 830 brush. It's just, I think it's just like a dome itch. 
But again, it's just like a little foundation brush, a little dome brush, flat kabuki kind of situation. I've seen um, Tamara Renee use this and I decided to get it because I feel like it's really cute if you want to like just get into, you know, these little small crevices. So I got that one. Let's do the blush, blushes. So the first blush I got is this Melt Cosmetic Blush. It's a cream blush light, sandy cheeks is the cream one um when i tried it on it just looked a little light on me but i did blend it and then i added my my nars blush so it looks okay but i want to know on its own how would it look on my skin the next things i want to talk about are the nars blushes i have two right here this is savage and this one is liberté liberté is like a peachy pink qc color it barely has any shimmer and then savage is like a bronzy bronzy color like you can see how it glows even i have a couple more products not that much i got some powders i got the huda beauty powder this is a setting powder you guys are all familiar with this i got it in the shade blondie because i wanted a little more color for when i'm putting it under my eyes and i also got the path mcgrath labs um, this one is the skin fetish sublime perfection powder i got it in the shade yellow it's also for my under eyes i just want to try different ones i don't know i've heard great things about these and guess what my path my i just used it to do my makeup you guys and it freaking broke can you guys see this so i'm going to have to return and exchange this because ugh it's not cheap and we can't just be out here i have the hourglass raw micro sculpting pencil and the shade dark brunette it's what i use to do my makeup today i feel like this one gives you a very natural brow you have a lot of control over you know how much you want to put and the shape you want to give fancy beauty um what is this what it do makeup refreshing spray i use this also i use this as well today for my makeup it's absolutely amazing it is very soft it goes on the skin so lightly it feels like you, you're putting nothing on you can keep spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying and it just feels like nothing is coming out it's very fresh it's very refreshing the next thing i got is this um fenty beauty cream gloss balm cream in the shade honey waffles so let me put a little bit on it's very pigmented it's like a peach terracotta nude color. It's cute, I like it. Yeah, so this is the end of the video, you guys. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for your continued support. Don't forget to like, comment, remember to subscribe before you leave. Share this video with your friends and family and yeah comment down below if you have any of these products if you're gonna try any of these products if you hate any of these products what do you like you know some products that i should try and uh yeah thank you so much and i will see you guys very soon in my next uh, video bye